Welcome back everyone, you're locked in the Fever FM, it's Imrano show, the time now is 1.35 and we have our guest all the way from Dubai. That's right, he's been on the show quite a few times, way back in the days, I think it's a long time ago now, with tracks like Ashikade, Ish, and the list goes on. He goes by the name of Flynn J. Welcome to the show, Flynn. Thank you, Imrano. How are you doing, brother? I'm doing well, thanks. How are you doing? I'm doing great, man. Alhamdulillah, no complaints. Long time. Yeah, it's been a long time. It's been a long time that I spoke to you. Uh, when was it? Like about 2000 and probably 14 or something? 15, yeah, it was many 15 years. maybe. <laughs> many years ago, man, that was. So how you been? What you been up to? Nothing, man. Just chilling, doing my thing. Like everybody else, staying home, staying safe. Yeah. Trying to find the situation. And um, you're from, you're from Dubai. Yeah. I'm based in Dubai. Based I'm based in Dubai. In, I, grew up, I grew up in Dubai, but I'm originally from Pakistan. Yeah, um, right now, are you in Dubai right now? Absolutely, yes. Yeah, you're in Dubai right now. Um, now I was gonna I was gonna ask you, like I see a lot of videos everywhere, people posting videos, people putting snaps and everything in Dubai, and it just looks like there's no coronavirus in Dubai. Like, what is the situation in Dubai? No, man, there's a lot of cases. Uh, they're now going to put down a week's lock, week to 10 days lock. What they've done is they've, they've stopped these socializing parties and gatherings and all these lounges are going back on lockdown for at least 10 days. Oh, the number okay. of cases have been increased here, so it's not a very good situation here, to be honest. Oh, well, before before this, uh, like about last week or so, you, there was lots of parties going on in Dubai. There was all sorts going on. That was New Year's fever, man. Everybody was so busy with New Year's and partying, and everybody was so homesick that they wanted yeah. to go out, you know, do some do some activity, meet people, have a party. So I think that's over now. New Year's has happened. Uh, now everybody's coming back home and sitting safely. Okay. Um, right then. So let's talk about now. When I spoke to you way back in the days, it was Ashikade when I first spoke to you. And uh, since then, you've been putting quite a lot of tracks that you came to Ish. And uh, then you were kind of disappeared for a while. Like, uh, what happened in uh, Flint J's world? Nothing much, man. I was just taking a break. Uh, yeah. I just took some break for myself. There was too much of music around me all the time, too much of work. Oh, but having okay. said that, I'm back. I'm back. The break is over. I'm back with the new track, which is called The Last Chapter. I hope you guys heard it, and I hope you guys like it, too. Yeah, I was gonna ask you about that. The last chapter, like I thought, have you have you just come back to release a last chapter and then disappearing again, or is this a last chapter for the last <laughs> chapter or starting a new no, chapter? No, no. Um, what is going on with the chapter. chapters? The, the the one before the last chapter I released is called Tere Bina with Bohemia. Mm -hmm. That was also a very long lost project that I did with him in 2016, 17, early 2017. Yeah, I released it in 2019 because it was still my break time at that point. But um, now I'm back with the last chapter. The last chapter, see, when I started off with the last chapter, it means it's going to go forever. Oh, there will be no okay. <laughs> well, here at Fever FM, we've got some young trainees, and we're going to bring them on via Zoom, and uh, they're gonna, they've got a few questions for you too. Hey, hi. So Zero has got the first question for Flint J. Um, so my question is... Um, I, I saw that you um, had, or on, you know, your videos are on YouTube and it's done by Sony Music India. How did that happen? How, how did you, because I know a lot of people do try to, you know, get their, their music on Sony Music India on YouTube and stuff. So how did that happen? Because that's surely not easy. Well, happening to work with India was good luck for me, to be honest. Uh, my manager happens to uh, represent my music in India to the companies. And uh, Sony Music India was the first one to pick up the song Ish. And they launched it in 2015. And then from there onwards, you know, there was a lot of music between me and India that got exchanged. Honestly, yes, it is quite difficult for <clears throat> somebody, uh, you know, uh, from a Pakistani background to having, uh, you know, uh, being, uh, being played in India, being, uh, having a support from Indian labels. But Alhamdulillah, I was lucky that uh, the time was good when we represented our music to India and they finally decided to put it up on their channel and then promote it uh, worldwide. How was your experience working with them? Because, you know, I feel like a lot of people, you kind of see the outside of what's going on, but how was it like on the inside? Like, was, do you think you could have done better somewhere else? Or do you like what, how, how, how it, how it turned out? See, everything that happens, happens with the uh, good time. Uh, nobody gets in, in the industry and becomes an overnight star. 
So for me also getting in Indian labels and getting the support from Indian uh, channels was not an easy task, but uh, see, at the end of the day, it's all about what you make. If you make good product, if you make good songs, if you give out good stuff, then you're going to be appreciated today or tomorrow. Someday, definitely, yes. All right, um, thank you. I've got one final question um, is, so you've, doing, you've been doing this for a while now. So what are the highs and lows of your career been? Because I know there's like a lot of new artists who don't get to kind of to say, oh, well, the high was releasing the song, the low was people not liking it. Like, so you've been doing this for so long, what like best, best moments have been and like the worst moments been because we don't get to see the bad side of the music industry that often. See, the bad side of it, what happens normally is when, when people, you know, sometimes you present your art in such a manner, uh, in such a way that people tend to forget that there is a human being behind that art. So for me, the worst moment of my career was when I was going through my domestic problems and I had to quit on my uh, career, you know, on my work, on a lot of things. At that point, a lot of people kept saying, you know, we need more music from you, we need more music from you. But then what made me sad was that the guy who was giving music was also human and can also go through some sort of mishap. That was the only lows, but about highs is a lot of highs I've enjoyed in my career. Talking about why the new artists are not very um, keen on uh, making music or they're not happy when they make music because their music is not being heard. So I made my first song, as Imrano knows, I made my first song in 2009, right? I started making music from 2009 onwards, but my first, first ever hit single was in 2015. So those five, six years of me making music was also very frustrating that I made a lot of good songs, mm -hmm. but I didn't feel any of them clicked well, right? But most of them were very good. All of them were really nice. I mean, now after 2015, when my, my song Ish became a worldwide hit, everybody started going back to my old songs as well. And then you they started listening to old songs. music. They started liking old music as well. So you never know when you click. You never know when your right time is coming in. So the only advice is just keep trying, keep trying hard. And don't say I'm done with it and I want to give up because you never know when's that one song that's going to change your career in life. That's true. That's true. Like if you got to like, you said uh, five years later, your big hit came. And if you stopped at four years, you would have not hit that five, that fifth year with that main song. Um, Absolutely. So yeah, just, you just never know what's around the corner. Absolutely, Imran. Absolutely, bro. Right then. Thank you. Thank you, Zero, for your, for your questions. Yeah. Um, Julie's right got five quick questions for you. Bring it on. Um, so the first one is, you live in Dubai. It's always hot there. Do you ever wish for cold weather? No. <laughs> I was just telling him, Rano, I'm not a cold just guy. Me that. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a very anti-cold person. I love being in summers. I love hot sun around me. I, lo I, love, I love being in hot temperature. So the second question is, what's like your favorite meal that always gets you excited? Biryani. Biryani. <laughs> <laughs> Typical Pakistani. So the Typical next one. Asian, Asian dish. Yeah. Yes. So the next one is, what's your favorite song that you're listening to right now, beside your own? Besides my own, man. There's a lot of songs that I've been listening to, but lately I've been listening to this song called um, Ha Hege Ha. It's by an artist called Karan Ojla. He's from India. He's based in Canada. Indian artist. Ah, uh, hey, yeah. That's the song. Mm. Um, give us a, one song of yours that you're extremely proud of. Ish. Ish. So today, obviously, is National Pie Day. Do you like pie? Do you like to eat pie? I'm a foodie guy. I love everything that tastes good. Yeah. <laughs> Can you cook? Yes, uh, one thing that I've learned in this quarantine time and this pandemic is cooking. Oh, right, that's good. What's, what's your favorite thing that you've cooked? Uh, biryani. Biryani, oh, right, right. And um, yeah. biryani is not an easy task right, then. Now it's the time, now it's the time for Pump Up Your Mic. Um, I, I know I've uh, told you about this. So how it works is on the airwaves, you know, we got to pump up this mic. You got to give this mic so much energy. We got to give it all the entertainment we can. So everyone out there can feel the pump and get energized just by listening to you. So um, what I want you to do is I want you 
to pump up the mic by delivering um, some sort of may, maybe sing a few lines from your from your latest song or maybe something from your old song like Ish. Whatever you feel like you could you want to do, you do it now uh, with the, with pump up the mic. And what it is is you've got to go for at least forty seconds. You can go as long as you want, but forty seconds is like the minimum. So once you've gone past forty seconds, and then you have pumped up the mic. Let's do uh, it. I, do you feel pumped? I'm already pumped, man. Your, your you voice pumped? is making me pump. Your energy is giving me all the pump already. Oh, that's good. That's good. Uh, Jury, are you pumped? Are you pumped up to listen? Yeah, yeah what about yes. you, Zero? Zero, yep. zero. Okay, then. So, Flynn J, do, would you like some music behind it or would you like to go a cappella? I'll do an a cappella, man. There's a lot of people don't get to hear my a cappellas. Okay, then. Well, Flynn J is pumped, so it's time now to pump up the mic. Esa laga mujhe pehli dafa tanha main ho gaya yara hu pareshan samay ab ye kehne ke liye tu zaruri sa hai mujhko zinda rehne ke liye ho tu zaruri sa hai mujhko now that's one of the songs from the last chapter. Now we'll go back to the first chapter called Ashkan, where the history started from. Okay. Lokishk vishk kar lende ne asishk da peer jaga bethe Loki yaar labad nu fir de ne asi labya yaar gawa bethe ਇਹ ਦੁਨੀਆ ਵਾਲੇ ਪਾਗਲ ਨੇ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਆਸ਼ਿਕ ਨੂੰ ਸਮਝਾਉਂਦੇ ਨੇ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਆਗ ਨਾ ਬੁਝਦੀ ਸਮੁੰਦਰਾਂ ਤੋਂ ਨੂੰ ਫੂਕਾ ਮਾਰ ਬੁਝਾਉਂਦੇ ਨੇ ਆਸ਼ਿਕਾਂ ਦੇ ਸੀਨੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਦਰਦ ਨਹੀਂ ਜਾਣੇ ਉਹੀ ਆਸ਼ਿਕ ਆ ਫਿਰ ਜਾਣੇ ਰੱਬ ਨਹੀਂ ਆਸ਼ਿਕਾਂ ਦੇ ਸੀਨੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਦਰਦ ਨਹੀਂ ਜਾਣੇ ਉਹੀ ਆਸ਼ਿਕ ਆ ਫਿਰ ਜਾਣੇ ਰੱਬ ਨਹੀਂ Yes, you definitely pumped up the mic there. Give a round of applause, round of applause. What do you reckon? What do you reckon, Judy? Did he pump up the mic? Absolutely. What about you, Zero? Definitely, definitely. That was great. And uh, we have Bali flashing away there. She thinks you pumped up the mic also. So I'll give you a big pump for that. <laughs> Thank you very much, Flynn. You know, I'm going to tell you that you are the first person this year to pump up the mic. We started yeah, your first and you are the first person to pump up the mic. <laughs> I'm glad that I'm glad I'm the first one. Lot to follow, many to follow. Oh yeah, and um, I'm glad you did a bit of Ashikade because that was the first song that introduced me to you. And that's the first song that I played uh, from you on the airwaves. And that's the first song I interviewed you about. And that exactly. song there, I remember you did like, you did two versions, you did a faster version, then you did a Valentine's version. And I remember I liked the Valentine version. I used to play it all the time. It was like on all of my shows, even though it wasn't um, it wasn't the song that related to the show. But I always liked that song, and I always played it on all of my shows. That and it's still so a good bro. song when I hear it. I, I play it all the time when I hear it. Much love, man. Much love, bro. Right then, I want to say thank you for joining us today. Uh, where can everyone find you um, on the social media? Uh, on my Instagram, it's Flynn J Music. On my Snapchat, again, it's Flynn J Music. On my Facebook, it's Flynn J Music. So everywhere you want to search me, you can search for Flynn J Music and I'll be there. Okay, and last question before you go. Now, in this pandemic, what is... Now, there's so much, so much um, you know, not so good things that happen in this pandemic. But what is the one thing that has come out of this pandemic that you would take on forward, like when the pandemic is over? Social distancing. <laughs> you're you're going to continue with the social distancing. That's where, that has taught me a lot of new things, how to be social distant from people and how happy you will be once you're distant from some people. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> that's a good one, that's a good one. So you will continue to social distance after the pandemic is over. Absolutely. Oh, okay. Absolutely. <laughs> and I'm sure some people will, will do that with me too. <laughs> <laughs> Probably, yeah. If you're going to do it with them, they're going to do it with you. Uh, what about you? Once you hear it. Thank you very much. 
Thank you. Go higher, trainees. Bro, thank you, thank you so much for having me on your show, brother. It was amazing talking to you once again after a long time. And uh, yeah, one thing I'll say before I leave that there's, you know, we've all grown in the span of time. You know, it's been long that I spoke to you last. Yeah. But every time we get on mic again, every time we speak again, we don't act like, oh, you know what? I'm a star now. You know what? I'm an, I'm an, I'm a big guy now. So that thing between us is something I really love, man. Respect. You too. Respect to you. Thank you. Here we go. The last chapter. Flinchy.